Hey there, I'm Sam Flegel, the creator of Fateful Signs. For this video, you get to watch me work on an ink drawing of Niflheim. What's Niflheim, you ask? Well, Niflheim is one of the nine worlds from Norse mythology. I was recently asked to design a horn for my friend Brian Marshall from Where the Gods Live Drinking Horns based on this realm. Nifl means mist and Heim means home, so literally the word means mist home or world of mist. At the beginning of time, Niflheim and Muselheim, the realm of fire, collided to create the universe. Later, Niflheim or Niflhel gets very confused with the realm Hell. In fact, it gets so murky between the two that it's kind of difficult to tell what's intended for each realm. Both are cold realms where the dead goes. It gets, it gets messed up. Niflheim is mentioned in the Prose Edda by Snorri Sturluson, the Icelandic scholar, but is not specifically mentioned in any other source that I'm aware of. Niflhel is more commonly used in other things like the Voluspa or other parts of the Poetic Edda. And the ancient stories of the Norse, they contain many mysteries and things are not as well codified as we modern folk tend to like things. I, for one, enjoy the mystery and enjoy solving the puzzle of the old stories and seeing how they fit together. And I personally find it rather poetic that the realm of mist contains many things that are unknown, even its origin. So whether we're talking about Niflheim, Niflhel, or Helheim, the realm of Hela, uh, where the dead goes, it just, it, it all gets kind of confusing and it's hard to draw lines. Um, but there are a few points, so for this I tried to focus on Niflheim over Hel. There is some distinction. Uh, Niflheim has a well, and from that well, eleven rivers spring. Uh, the cold colliding with the water of the rivers create the mist, or at least that's one theory. The realm contains Needhog, the dragon that gnaws at the base of the world tree and that eats the corpses of murderers and oath breakers, those whose deeds were so terrible in life that they deserve to be eaten by a dragon. There's also some reference to there being other serpents, in fact, more serpents than any one could count. Another theory is that the realm is so venomous due to all the serpents there that their poison mixes with the water and the cold to create the mist. Uh, who knows? Another theory. Regardless, it is misty there. Now, when working on this drawing, I wanted to focus on the things that are uniquely Niflheim. So, going through that list, I'd want to make sure there were snakes, there's a dragon, there's water, there's mist and smoke, and there's corpses. I think I captured all those things pretty well. I also wanted to represent the realm as a, a wider thing, as a skull, because on some level, all Niflheim is a world of death. But the fear of death exists within each of us and our own skulls. Niflheim is that fear. So you can see I've placed the dragon so it's nested inside the skull. I included 11 snakes pouring water uh, to represent the 11 different rivers. And the well is at the top of that skull bubbling over with mist and then leaking down all over the rest of the drawing. If you're enjoying this video, it's most likely because you're a member of the Fateful Signs Patreon. Thank you so much for being a part of the team. If you're not a member of Fateful Signs, please go to patreon.com slash and become a member today. Have a great day.